In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a four size brochure design in PowerPoint. In this example, I have designed it for the travel purpose and you can use it for any other purpose uh, you want. Uh, let me just show you what I did here. I have added just one photo here and on the top you can add your company logo and below you can add the options along with the icons and then you can add any special text here and here also I have added one more button and at the bottom I have uh, did a page curl effect where I have just put the hurry up and in the background I have just put some li lines and some other uh, shapes. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and I'm going to change the slide size to A4 size. For that go to design, slide size, select the custom slide size and from the drop down select A4 and change the orientation from landscape to portrait and click on OK. It will ask two options. So just select any options either maximize or ensure fit and click OK. Go to insert shapes and from uh, rectangles I'm going to select the second one which is the rectangle rounded corner hold the shift key while dragging this one so that you get the perfect square shape you can see here something like this shape outline you can make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color then I'm just going to zoom out the slide you can see here make it more smaller and this shape I'm just going to rotate it so you can hold the alt key and use the right arrow key you can see here it should come something like this at the top and then again hold the shift key to increase the size and let me just go to format shape and increase the transparency level so you know exactly how much uh, the shape I'm going to keep it here so now I'm just going to keep it something like this here can you see here I want something this much size which is visible on the slide should be there okay so what I'm going to do is I can cut this one or let me just duplicate this and I want to add one more here you can see here something I want to add one more here also so now go to insert shapes select the rectangle and draw the rectangle exactly here you can see here and then I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select the blue square. Then under format, merge shape, you can just say intersect. So you end up getting this shape. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this also. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, make sure that it is covering. And then select this one, hold the shift key, select this rectangle, merge shape and say intersect so you end up getting the shape like this and then go to insert shapes and from basic shapes i am going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and rotate i can just say flip horizontal you can see here and i can just increase the size you can see i can just increase the size something like this so you can see here our basic design is ready the basic shapes what i want it's already added now this one let me just select this and uh, make it uh, no transparency there and then i can go insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle here maybe this much size you can just give shape outline make no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice and then just rotate it something like this you can see here and then just send this to back and likewise I can add other things also so let me just select this press ctrl D to duplicate I'm just going to add here and going to change the color to dark blue you can see here this also I'm going to send this back so wherever the white gap is there I'm just going to fill it so this also I'm just going to select this and this also send this to back and select this duplicate it and just copy it here and this also send this to back now you can see here I have covered now the extra things whichever you find which is outside of the the slide area again you can use the same thing go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle make sure that this is selected let me just duplicate this you can see here 
then I'm just going to select this blue and then select this rectangle merge shape subtract like this you can just cut it again let me just duplicate this bring it here you can see here and then I'm going to select this and again subtract this this also this area also I can duplicate this and then I'm just going to select this one this rectangle and then hold the shift key select this again more shape subtract or it is something more I need to just move it out a little bit yes so then I'm just going to select this and then subtract it and then reduce the size and I'm going to do it at the bottom you can see here let me just put it exactly here make sure that it is properly otherwise it will be something inside or outside it will be cut again you can see here and then you can add one more for the top part this also I can just simply subtract it and one more I'm going to do it even if you keep it not a problem but it won't look good you know so that's the reason now you can see here I have just made the design something like this and if it is anything cutting or anything we can just adjust it later on so this color I'm going to make it white color you can see here and then I'm going to duplicate this pressing ctrl D and I'm going to select any picture here for that select picture or texture fill and go to insert from file you can select any picture of your choice and insert it there so you can see here I've added this image which I have downloaded from unsplash.com which are free website where you can download a good quality uh, images so I'm just going to put it here exactly you can see here and then you can just reduce the size something like this or you can just hold the shift key also you can reduce the size so whichever way you want you can just reduce the size and then you can give some shadow effect as well you can see here I can just give some shadow effect I can increase the distance and then here I can go and give some different color for example I want to give some different color here for this I want to give a white color all right so a lot of things you can do it and for this also I want to give the this one shadow which is inner center you can see here and increase the distance and increase the blur size so everywhere you can give the same shadow effect I can give and select this shadow effect also increase the distance and increase the blur size and for this also you can give the same shadow effect which again increase it and increase the blur size So now you can add more detail options here either you can add the circles or you can add the same shape which I'm going to select the same one here again hold the shift key make a perfect uh, square shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to give the same dark blue color and alt and right arrow key just move it rotate it and then I'm just going to put it one here how many options you want for example I want three options I can just add three options here and then you can go to insert I can go to icons and then you can select icons of your choice or if you don't have these icons which are available in the latest versions of PowerPoint only in that case I have provided one uh, file where you can get more than 500 icons for which is absolutely free and then I'm just going to change the height and width to 0.3 only and graphic fill I'm going to fill with white and then just slowly I'm just going to put it on top of each this square you can see here and then you can go to insert text box add your detailed text so you can add your detailed text I'm going to add the font which is the century gothic or whichever font which you feel better or you're comfortable you can just use that particular font reduce the size you can see here press ctrl D you can add one more here and lastly you can add it here and some other things also you can do example you can go and select the oval shape and draw the oval shape here if you don't want the same shapes you can see here 
and this color also I'm going to change it to the same color here and you can add your own text here for example book now or whatever I will just say book now so this one I'm just doing a oval shape so again century gothic and increase the size you can see here and if you want you can just enter it so make it two lines and then increase the size something like this and maybe the font color you can change it to white also and here you can add one more shape i'm going to just select this shape you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate it i can hold the shift key increase the size you can see here and then i can just add my uh, logo here this area and this part uh, you know you can just cut it and then this area you can add some i'll just say this example special offer or something whatever the text you like to add it you can just add it increase the size again the same font or any font of your choice you can see here make it bold right aligned you can do like this now to give some more effects i can just select this press ctrl d to duplicate it again hold the shift key increase the size change the color to white color and increase the transparency level you can see here so randomly you can just take two or three different different places you can just put it something like this so whichever way you feel better for example i want to put a dark blue here and then i can increase the more transparency level something like this you can just add it wherever you want to add more that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.